For over a century, every car in the world has been chained. Chained to fuel pumps. Chained to charging stations. Chained to a system that profits from your dependence. But today, one car has broken free. And the very first person outside Maxwell's team to review it was the president. In this video, you'll discover how Maxwell's self-powered car works, why world leaders are paying attention, and how this invention could destroy trillion-dollar industries overnight. And when I reveal the president's private reaction, you'll understand why experts are calling this the most disruptive moment in automotive history. Let's be honest, electric cars promised freedom. But did they deliver? Charging takes hours. Range anxiety is real. And the world still relies on massive infrastructure to keep them running. For most people, EVs are just a trade-off, not a true solution. That's why Maxwell's invention has everyone whispering. Because it doesn't solve one problem. It solves them all. So, what exactly did Maxwell create? A car that generates its own power. No plugs. No fuel. No stations. A living machine that sustains itself as it moves. Think of it like this, imagine a phone that charges itself while you use it. The more you talk, text, or play games, the more battery life you gain instead of lose. That's what Maxwell's car represents for the future of transportation. But what makes this story historic is not just the car, it's who was allowed to see it first. The President of the United States was invited to a top-secret hangar for a private demonstration. No media. No live broadcast. Just a small group of advisors, engineers, and security officials. The secrecy alone should tell you how serious this is. When has a world leader ever reviewed a car before it even launched? Now, here's where things get mysterious. Maxwell hasn't revealed all the details, but insiders describe a new kind of energy capture system recycling every ounce of motion and vibration to keep the car running indefinitely. Is it a new battery chemistry? A revolutionary motor design? Or something even more advanced? Nobody knows for sure. Maxwell's team has kept the science locked down. And that's why experts are split. Some say it's impossible. Others say it's the invention that will rewrite history. By the way, if you don't want to miss updates as this story unfolds, hit subscribe now. What comes next will change everything you thought you knew about cars. If this car is real, who wins and who loses? Oil companies could lose billions as demand collapses. Charging networks worth fortunes could vanish. Even automakers who invested heavily in EVs could find themselves left behind. This isn't just a new car. It's the potential death of entire industries. And with so much at stake, you can bet there will be resistance. Lobbyists, politicians, and corporations will fight tooth and nail to slow this technology down. But think bigger. Entire countries depend on oil exports for survival. If Maxwell's car spreads, economies could crumble. At the same time, cities could experience cleaner air, quieter roads, and cheaper transportation. It's a global balancing act, economic collapse on one side, environmental salvation on the other. Which side wins will depend on how fast Maxwell can move and whether powerful interests allow it to succeed, and now, the moment that has everyone buzzing. After stepping out of Maxwell's car, the president reported